start. Hello viewers, uh, today we have our project which is uh, making an easy bike charger that is an electric three wheeler vehicle charger more efficient. So we can see here that we have two chargers here. This one is the standard charger, uh, standard charger that we can find in the market and this one is the test charger that we made ourselves to improve the efficiency. So what are the main differences between these two chargers? Actually, the main problem that is faced by electric three-wheeler chargers is that um, when they are charged, there is no control mechanism to control the overcharge protection, uh, that is cutting off the voltage when it crosses a limit. Constant current. Constant current. And uh, there is no mechanism by which the uh, batteries can be charged with constant current. So, by removing all those problems and improvising a new circuit, we have built our this project. Okay, what is it? How does it work? First of all, there is a circuit board that has four triacs which changes the taps and uh, fixes the output charging current and here this board is the sensing board which I will talk about it later and here it is the transformer uh, in which the input taps are changed and from here the current is finally passed to the rectifier okay first let me demonstrate the circuit here if we turn on the circuit then this control board is powered and then we turn on the circuit breaker to the battery. I, I, let me first give you an introduction of the battery. We have five bat batteries, each is 12 volt, and together we have total of 60 volt batteries. And now we are going to charge the batteries by our circuit. Mm, let me first tell you that this circuit works in such a way that when the battery voltage is around 75 voltage, the circuit cuts off. Okay, as we can see here, here are four triacs corresponding to the four taps. And uh, if we can, if we see here, okay, now these triacs are working. And if we see in this current meter here, we can see that uh, it has a fixed constant current of almost 14.5 to 15 ampere that we are keeping it fixed for our project. And uh, by changing the taps of the transformer, the AC current taps are changed uh, to keep the current fixed actually and, we, and this AC current is passed through a, a rectifier bank which has four rectifiers in parallel and uh, when this voltage is rectified it finally passes on to the breaker and the battery is charged. Okay, now if I come on to the sensing mechanism, we have, uh, we are actually sensing four parameters, the input current, input voltage, the output current, and the output voltage. This current sensing, this, uh, this whole sensing board is the, uh, done by, uh, parameters are sensed by each of the sensing circuit. One is in our test uh, charger, and the one is in our standard charger. After the four parameters are sensed, then this data is passed through the LAN cable to our mother board here, which is the mother, bo mother sensing board, the data logger, we say it. After the data is, uh, has been received by the data logger, it is passed on to the server by GSM mechanism. And as we can see, our server, this data logger, we can see for our test, uh, suppose we are seeing for our test uh, charger, we see the parameters that we are testing. I have already said that we are uh, test, we are actually taking input, the input voltage, input current, output voltage, output current. So we have already used the data logger from before and as we can see after every one minute the data is updated and we get the voltage at the input the input current, the output voltage, and the output current. And by using these four data, we are calculating the input power, the output power, efficiency, and power factor. So, by calculating the efficiency for each of the chargers, we are actually comparing which charger is better. Thank you. That is all our project is about.